a small fish tank has been opened successfully. If you would like to feed corals mainly, in addition to control the NO3 concentration, you need to pay attention to another compound accumulating during the opening tank stage, phosphate, PO4. Phosphate, PO4, is not harmful to fishes, but has different impacts to corals and algae. In the marine aquarium tank, the source of phosphate is usually from surface foods. Frozen sea foods with rich nutrition bring more phosphate. Among them, the popular brain shrimp is small in size, sometimes reached into the bow rocks gaps, sometimes shucked into the filter by the suction pot. They will gradually dissolve into the water, produce more phosphate. Some dissolved phosphate contest the surface of bow rocks and flock on it change back into tiny solid form again. Some fishes are used to find foods on bar rocks, sometimes perk this phosphate as well. On another hand, if the concentration of calcium and magnesium are enough, calcified algae, as known as purple moles, grows normally and covers the phosphate on the bar rock. It prevents the phosphate to dissolve again while any water property changes abnormally. Hence, before the tank is opened successfully, even if there is phosphate in the aquarium, PO4 concentration test reading is usually very low, or so as zero. With the increase of organic matter and protein, plus the slow accumulation of nitrate and phosphate, Check the outbreak of brown moses. Plants like moss and algae absorb NO3 and PO4. Therefore, the concentration of NO3 and PO4 will decrease again. The protein schema has been switched on and started to remove excess organic matter and protein from water. With artificial cleaning work, or help from fishes eating moses or algae, the plant's growth are inhibited, withering slowly and disappearing. At this stage, the residue of plant's death excrement after fishes ate plants will dissolve in water again inevitably. That increases the concentration of NO3 and PO4. If an anaerobic zone exists in the filtration system design, NO3 maintain at stable readings, even drops to a low concentration slowly. Hence, only when NO3 formation and decomposition are stable after the tank was opened successfully, so to do NO3 decomposition artificially. For beginners, it is easier to understand and control it. But how about PO4? If ignore it after open tank successfully, in future, add more fishes, increased feeding amount, PO4 will accumulate to high concentration again. Besides brown mosses, different kinds of red, green color mosses and algae seize an opportunity of increasing of organic matters, protein or NO3, and go rapidly on surface of bar rocks and sand beds. For a fish-only tank, no any side effect at all at first, but if not remove or inhibit the growth of these plants, excessive plants do respiration at night. They take a lot of oxygen. The balanced aquarium environment will be lack of oxygen. Begin to affect the health of organisms and the survival of nitrifying bacteria. For a reef tank, most corals absorb PO4 for some time. They turn brown, then atrophy, bleach, and die. Some mosses 
or algae invade and grow on the surface of corals. Neither artificial or biological methods is able to clean such mosses or algae. As a result, corals die because covered by mosses or algae. So, for beginners, before start to keep any coral, you must test the PO4 concentration after opened the tank successfully. At beginning, beginners don't need to very concern the PO4 NO3 ratio of advanced marine aquarium. At this moment, beginners should look at how to reduce NO3 and PO4 to zero in your tank. Then observe NO3 and PO4 accumulation speak of your tank. In future, control the PO4 NO3 ratio within required range easily. For a small tank, the most effective way to remove PO4 is using the absorbent. It is similar to use the activated carbon. However, it mixes with some materials which can be added with PO4. It can remove PO4 from the water more quickly. Different types of absorbents, different efficiency. Well, a small tank doesn't have much water. Their filtering results are acceptable. According to your acceptance, may use the expensive or cheap absorbents. For the using amount, may follow the usage instructions or according to the size of the last compartment of the filtering system, fit a pack of absorbents in it to increase the chance of water floating through the absorbent. Generally, one week later, PO4 will have a significant drop. When the concentration drops to zero, take the absorbent out. Since that time, test PO4 concentration every other day. Beginners must understand your tank that under current fitting and maintenance habits, how is the accumulation speed of PO4? Otherwise, don't start to keep any coral. For a properly equipped small tank with 96 litre water capacity or below. Choose the dry algae food to feed fishes. One meal per day, the PO4 accumulation speed in the tank is generally slow. With change 25% of 10 water every two weeks, almost enough to dilute the PO4 produced in the tank. The testing result is usually zero. If you find any sign of PO4 rising again, a small reef tank needs to use PO4 absorbent as conversional filtering material. When using the PO4 absorbent for a long time, and it fully absorbed PO4, saturated absorbent may release PO4 back into the water. Therefore, during using them conversionally, test the PO4 concentration before change water every time. If PO4 is found to rise abnormally, it needs to replace the absorbent. Before keep any coral, need to understand the basic phosphate cycle in the tank. In future, adding organisms and increasing food for fishes, food or nutrient solution for corals. Organic matter Protein, NO3 and PO4 will increase as well. It may make the water equilibrium imbalance. Beginners must be prepared for mild outbreak of moses or algae. As long as filtering devices power are enough to handle the pollution of the tank, the plants stop growing very soon and can be wiped out. If the plants keep growing, increase the absorbance amount to accelerate the absorbing weight. Whether it is the normal growth or disaster of moses and algae outbreak with creatures eating plants, it can help to inhibit 
the spread of plants to avoid the instant invasion to corals. Algae are the main food of tank fishes. Among them, common yellow tanks and blue tanks are more gentle. Therefore, many small reef tanks have one of them. Brandy fishes eat the brown mosses on bare rocks and grasses. Gobi fishes rains sand, therefore they inhabit the growth of brown, green, red mosses and green algae on the sand bed. Magnificent rabbit fish likes to eat green hairy algae very much. One magnificent rabbit fish is able to eat all such algae in a large tank. Unfortunately, common sea magnificent rabbit fishes are usually in big size. Small ones for small reef tank is not often seen. Choker's snail eats mosses like plants on bare rocks and grasses. Because it eats mosses like plants only, if it cannot find any food, it will die. So, one snail is enough in a small reef tank. If not use organism method to clean the plants, during change the water, use a siphon to remove algae from the surface of bar rocks and sand bed. For the sucked out sand, wash it and then put it back into the tank. In addition, may take the bar rock out from the small reef tank. Put it in the changed old water. Wipe the mosses and algae out with a soft toothbrush. After using any kind of absorbent to remove NO3 or PO4 in a short time, the KH may decrease in the water or drop below 7 for Wells case. At that situation, may use the cage buffer to rise the cage value in the water. Cage buffer has powder form and aqueous solution. For cage powder, must dissolve it into fresh water firstly. Because of less water in a small reef tank, not much powder is required for each dose may prepare fill one lick or a five lick bottle of KH water beforehand. Every day, pour right amount toward the torrent of water streaming of the small reef tank. It can rise the KH to 9 to 10 in a short period. The usage of KH buffer aqueous solution is very simple. According to instructor amount, Pull it toward the tolerate of water streaming. However, the capacity of the aqueous solution is not much. May need few more bottles to get the desired result. Furthermore, need to test the calcium concentration of the water. If its concentration is lower than 315, need to rise its concentration to 315 to 400. To rise calcium concentration, may choose calcium powder or aqueous solution. The usage is similar to use KH buffer. To increase the solubility of calcium powder in seawater, may add small amount of magnesium solution. However, for a small reef tank, the corals should be small in size. Not too many corals should be kept. The intake of calcium and KH are not too much. So, every time you change the water, may use the reef chemical sea salt to increase the content of KH, CA, MT gradually. It usually reduces the extra demand of KH and CA supplements. Besides water properties, light and temperature also have a direct impact on corals. For beginners, the coral species I will suggest to keep have not strict demands on water properties, lighting, and temperature. 
they are good for beginners to start with. Therefore, it needs the medium luminosity lightened right now. For example, the T5 fluorescent tube is quite enough for beginner usage on small reef tank. In future, when ready to keep species with high demand to aquarium conditions, may choose to use the traditional halogen lamp or the getting popular LED lamp. For water temperature, as long as it doesn't exceed 28 Celsius degree, these corals can live in it. If can keep it at 26 Celsius degree for 34 hours a whole day, it's quite okay. If affordable to pay the increased monthly electricity bill and have vacant space at home, may consider to buy a chiller for the tank. Otherwise, for an electric method, go to the aquarium shop to buy the pre-assembled fish tank fan. To air cooling the water surface of the small tank. Besides, prepare few bags of ice. While the water temperature exceeds 28 Celsius degree, put a bag of ice into the tank. While the ice melts back into the water, put it back into the refrigerator. Get another bag of ice and put it into the tank. In the hot summer, Cooling down 1 Celsius degree of water temperature can save our reef tank from the overturned tank situation. The concentration of NO3 and PO4 in water are zero. KH is 9 to 10. CA is 350 to 400. The luminosity is not weak. Water temperature is below 28 Celsius degree. The water condition is ready for feeding various invertebrates, which are easy to take care. In next episode, I will talk about this invertebrates. Press subscribe for next episode showtime.